Maybe I might talk for a minute about soloing on ballads. Uh, we haven't done that much yet, but I am going to be assigning uh, a couple of ballads here in the course materials and in the final project. Um, the, the temptation is to treat the ballad like you do uh, a, a swing, medium swing piece. And in medium swing piece, we're apt to play a fair amount of arpeggios and scale fragments. It's part of the typical, you know, the typical running around jazz lines that are normal. But in a ballad, they don't work so well. Um, and, and you've heard me say several times that one of the decisions you want to make about a song is, is it a vocal piece or is it an instrumental piece? That means, is it the melody of the song uh, so busy and running around that, you know, it seems, you know, better for a trumpet player or a piano player and that a singer would have trouble singing that kind of a song. A vocal song, on the other hand, has a simpler melody and is, sounds eminently singable by, uh, by the human voice. And ballads fall in that category. melody, simple quarter notes, half notes, whole notes. So our solo also needs to be in this same melodic style. If we start soloing, running all over it, it's going to suddenly the whole feel, be the beauty of the song is going to be lost. Uh, we can play an occasional arpeggio or fast run just for interest and so on, but if we play most of the time like that on a ballad, it'll just sound like we're really overplaying and we'll lose this beautiful mood that the ball ballad has established. So I'm thinking of the melody. <laughs> Thinking of that, and I'm going to improvise. Start out, I'm just going to embellish around it. recognize it, if you're just a listener, that I'm really using elements of the original melody a lot uh, to pace my solo. And I know the original melody works really well. The composer spent a lot of time choosing those notes and making sure they're nice, strong, melodic notes. So, hey, I don't have to reinvent the wheel here. Um, I use those notes myself and just rearrange them a little bit, embellish them a little bit, and it doesn't take much effort. Uh, to disguise them from no longer sounding like the original melody, but sounding good, like good, strong melodies on their own. And um, that is a, a good way to get started in ballad playing. Mostly, remember, don't overdo. 
keep the same melodic style as the original melody and uh, use the original melody uh, you know, as, a, as a guide when you're soloing. It'll, it's an easy way to go get good strong lines in your solo without having to totally reinvent everything.